Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is a minimalism video and I'm going to be sharing with you 10 ways to simplify your kitchen. So if you like content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more. So before we get started, I just wanted to say that minimalism looks different for everyone. I find that this kind of lifestyle can change depending on your personal lifestyle, the people that you live with, the things that you like to do. There is no one size fits all when it comes to minimalism. I think that it's more about having an intentional mindset about the the things that you bring in, the decisions that you make, and how you choose to spend your time. Today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 little things that I've implemented into my own home, some things that I've been doing for a while, and some things that I decided to do just this year. So if you're watching this video in 2022, maybe you can implement some of these tips along with me this year. Okay, so the first thing is so simple. It's just to organize and have a system in your kitchen. Make sure like goes with like, so containers go with container lids, all the mixing bowls go together, utensils go with utensils. Just organize in a way that makes sense and is convenient to your lifestyle. I like to organize my things by usage. So if it's an item that we use frequently, I like to place these kind of items in drawers and cabinets that are easily accessible. So depending on the kind of store solutions that you have at home take a look around your kitchen and see if you can simplify the items that you have and reorganize it by category and by usage so number two is a tricky one but I find that this is really important in getting that countertop space back as well as cabinet space so limit those small kitchen appliances and I'm talking about the Keurig machines the soda streams the air fryer the instant pot the blender I could just go on and on there are so many small kitchen appliances and as fun as they are they just take up so much space so when it comes to small kitchen appliances really be picky about the ones that you bring into your home and I'm not saying don't have any of them because I personally have them as well but we try our best to limit the small appliances to the ones that we truly use so we have a Vitamix blender we have an instant pot we have a small toaster oven and we have an espresso machine those are the main small appliances that we use as much as I would love an air fryer it's just not something that that we currently see ourselves using every day. So we've decided not to opt for one. The next step is to get rid of decor that isn't functional, except for plants, because I just love a little bit of greenery. Try to decorate your kitchen with items that are both beautiful yet functional. So for us, that is a beautiful espresso machine. We use that thing every day and we keep it on our countertop because it looks beautiful. Some small touches you could add if you wanted to have a more colorful kitchen is to add a little pop of color through dish towels and dishcloths. We also hang up our oven mitts on our backsplash so that it's easily accessible, but it's also pretty. And as I mentioned, I love my plants, so I do have a little pothos plant on our countertop. Along the same idea as keeping the decor minimal is to keep your fridge clear. If you love to have have your kids artwork a few pictures go ahead and do that maybe just reorganize it every once in a while our fridge is not magnetic so it kind of helps us in keeping the front of our fridge clear and next is to have a color scheme and stick to it as you might be able to tell from our kitchen we like a very very muted light and bright kitchen so our kitchen is full of muted tones grays whites beiges we just like a very neutral looking kitchen so that's what works for us but if you like a pop of yellow or a pop of blue find ways to add that into your kitchen maybe it's through your backsplash or through dishcloths as I mentioned earlier we like natural elements so for us we add pops of warmth and color through the different cutting boards that we display on our countertop another simple thing you can do is to refill your soap and dish detergent into uniform looking bottles I've taken our old hand soap bottles clean them out and then filled it with new hand soap and dish detergent I've labeled the bottles at the front end I just like how simple and clean it looks this next tip is so hard, but something that I find is so important is to not let your countertop be the drop-off station. Find another spot for your keys, your phone, your mail, whatever you may be bringing in, small little things that you just need a place to put down, don't put it on your countertops. This just makes cleaning it so much easier. Just visually, it looks so much neater. I know it's so much easier said than done, and I'm still guilty of leaving a couple of things on the countertop here and there, but at the end of the day, try to keep that countertop clear and connect it to the 
that point is to do a daily wipe down of your countertops. This is something that I've implemented actually just this year. So at the end of the day, I just do a nice tidy of the countertop. I will clear all the clutter that isn't supposed to be on the counter and I will spray it down and wipe the countertops clean so I can wake up the next morning to a fresh and clean kitchen. This is something simple. It only takes about five minutes to do at the end of the day. If there's anything that you do, I recommend doing a quick pickup and cleaning off those countertops before you go to bed. All right, so I saved these last two tips for the end because they are probably the most annoying tasks to do, but they make such a big difference to your kitchen. And the first one is to clear your sink every day. I know at the end of the night, I might have snacked on some fruit and some chips, and I just wanna put that bowl in the sink and just leave it there. But if you can, if you have a little bit of energy left at the end of the day, just clear your sink so that the next morning when you wake up, you can wake up to a fresh, clear sink. And I definitely don't do this perfectly every night, but it makes such a big difference. Finally is to wipe down your cabinets. Maybe not daily, but I recommend doing this every one to two weeks because that grime, oil, coffee stains, it gets stuck on your cabinet. And if you clean it more regularly, it means that you don't have to scrub as hard when you do it after a couple of months. And especially for us, we have white cabinets. And if you go close enough to the cabinets, you will see those coffee stains. So really get into those ridges, spray the cabinet down and give it a good wipe down. It'll make a huge difference. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this little bit of minimalism content from me. If you enjoyed these 10 tips, please make sure to leave me a comment down below. And if you have any other tips that you do in your own kitchen, make sure to leave it down below as well. I would love to hear from you. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more. You can also find me over on Instagram at Candice M. Tate. And I think that's it. I'm going to go feed my son. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.